on this volume of 2K Sports. Tigers baseball as Detroit goes up against the Oakland Athletics. Ready to go on 2K Sports. Here in Oakland at the Coliseum, the crowd coming in to cheer on the A's. Great to have you with us, and for the Oakland A's, they are happy to be home. And glad you could be with us, a mid-April matchup for this 2K Sports presentation of MLB. Oakland starter for our ballgame. Dave, what do you think? What's he thinking about looking at this Detroit hitter lineup? Well, it's South Paul on the mound today, and this one is going to have to be on top of his game. But when he's on, he's usually pretty darn good. But this is a quality lineup he's facing, which means he's going to have to really execute his pitches to get out of jams. Here's the lineup for the Tigers. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, one of the best hitters in all of baseball, Miguel Cabrera, and he's still at such a young age. Great patience at the plate, an RBI machine. Whenever there's guys on base, he will expand the zone a little bit to try to drive those guys in, but he always seems to succeed. Cobb is the batter now. Detroit coming in off a loss in their last one, and that ended a bitter series getting swept 0-3 against the Rangers. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0-1. So you look back, down by two, that end of that. Yeah, they just need to figure out a way to score a little more runs to help to get some of these wins. Here it comes. Lays off that fastball, and it's 0-2. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. Swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. Uh, Gary, he's not messing around, going right at him on the 0-2 count. He didn't waste anything. He just went right for the juggler. Here's a look at the A's on defense. One out, nobody on. The 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone with that four-seamer. Don't strike and a fastball, and it's 0-2. The hitter's got to protect the outer part of the plate right here, down 0-2. Ball in there, struck him out, out number two. Okay, Cam's going to show us the four seam fastball here. Well, couldn't pull the trigger, he couldn't even get it started. He came right back with another fastball, John. Well, you see him go fastball, fastball like that, and you know he has a lot of confidence in that heater right now. Base is empty with two outs. And here's the pitch. Can't get him to chase it. That's low. Ball one. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Fastball low, 2-0. Here's a fastball for a called strike, two and one. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Here's the two one pitch. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call though, and it's three and one. Well, anytime you have a count three and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. Three, two on the way. That one's going to miss. That's ball four as he heads down the line. Well, first base was open in this situation. I think they're comfortable putting him on. 
Well, that's what you want to do. You want to have quality at bats, get that pitch count up. And I tell you what, he worked this pitcher. It's, it's going to be tough for him to get this next hitter out after working that walk on so many pitches. The pitch hit up the middle. Collins throws to first in time. That's three down. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. And first chance coming up for the athlete. Let's take a look at the starting pitcher we've got for Detroit. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be today as he goes against Oakland? A good looking lefty on the mound right here against the lineup that can put some runs up on the board. So pretty even matchup. So it's going to come down to which side executes better than the other. Oftentimes we say good pitching can beat good hitting. On the way. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2 0. Last night a loss for the A's. So the story there, a tough three game set going 0 3 against the White Sox in Chicago. When this ball club's been playing 500 ball over the last 10 games. Drops down a bunt. Newhauser. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. Now, let's take a look at what Bob Guerin's done to the lineup. A really a fun offense to watch because they're always seemingly in motion. Guys are moving, guys are running, taking the extra base. They go in hard, breaking up double plays. Speed, the name of the game. A runner on first, no out. And he tries to get one down. Newhauser. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. Now we'll take a quick look at the Tigers and how they're out there positionally on defense. And John, how about uh, individual factors out there? Well, the guy that's putting up historic offensive numbers is Miguel Cabrera, but defensively, he's finally found a home at first base where he's comfortable, and it takes a lot off his mind as far as having to play outfield or the other infield position. Put him at first base and let him hit. Miguel Cabrera is one of the best going. Fox is batting. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. A swing and he crunches this one. Deep right center field. And bingo, just like that, it is three to nothing. Wow, a three-run shot. The first runs we've gotten on the board. Let's look at how that three-run shot affects their chances. Chance at a victory charted on our WPA ground. A great piece of hitting right there. He turns on that one, rotates the hips, and drives the ball. And that's going to give them the lead here and an early lead. Well, let's see if they can tack on a few more here in the first and put the pressure on. Now this takes the pressure off their own pitcher. They're able to get out in front now, get a lead, creating a margin for error, Gary. I like what they're doing. Nobody on base and nobody out. Great He's block. up for that first pitch and misses 0-1. They are happy, Steve. Uh, this output is getting this game going in a hurry. Well, standing around on the field in the top half of the inning didn't seem to affect them because they came in swinging the bats. And we'll look to see if the pitching can settle in. Here's the pitch. One and, one. and Jackson will watch that one up high. Fastball gets away from him there, two and one. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. Great 
two one pitch a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Well you can tell his timing way off after seeing him swing at that four seamer. Strike three called on the fastball. What away. Well, what are you looking at? With two strikes, you've got to be thinking fastball. He got it, and he got it right down the middle. Pull the trigger. Come on. Simmons at the plate. Now, as good as the Tigers were at home in 2010, they were that bad on the road, ending up with a 500 record overall. Base is empty, one out. Here's the delivery. A line drive toward short. And he throws to first in time, out number two. That bad record on the road for the Tigers comes by a Something you wouldn't expect. The pitching would actually break down as much as it does for Detroit away from home. It's so odd. How about the second worst ERA on the road? An ERA over five. It's just amazing. They just could not pitch on the road. It points to young pitchers just not feeling comfortable on the opposing mound. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. The pitcher really rearing back and throwing. He's got everything working now. Commanding the strike zone with that fastball. It's taken by Johnson inside. Well, a good pitch right there. He tried to get one in on his hands, but he just missed, though, in off the plate. Great pitch. Now the 1-1 one -one pitch. 1-1 one -one delivery. A fastball taken for a strike. 1-2. and two. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. Trammell easily to the bag. They didn't make a play. Ah, he boots it, and he's on. A costly error to allow him to reach base. Bando at the plate now. Two outs and a man on first. And they pitch out. Uh, nobody's moving. Misses outside for ball two. And the 2-0 pitch is a fastball low, 3-0. Oh, it's a great fastball right there, down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Ball and four. that one misses. That'll be ball four. Well, he needs to be careful here. Don't give them free base runners. Make them earn it. He didn't give them anything to hit at all. Free pass on four pitches. The Tigers' schedule looks like this. Wrapping up uh, Sunday, the series with Oakland. They continue on another road series. The Seattle Mariners will be hosting. They'll get started Monday night. After that, they'll host the White Sox for a series at home. That series bound to be competitive. On the way. Swung on line to right center field. That one falls. Johnson's going to try and come home. And Johnson scores. Another run comes in right behind him. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Here's what that double's done for the win expectancy graph.
They need to get an out right now. I mean, this offense just has keep, kept the pressure on them. They need to regroup and get an out. Cochran gets a shot here. This is a potent offense on the field right now, really dominating. Now, there's nothing like taking a lead early in the game, first inning especially. Get up early and score often. and a runner on second. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Oh. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. At the belt, the 1-0. Oh. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. Oh. Here's the delivery. Called strike that time, two and one. The key for any pitcher is establishing the four seam fastball. Once you get that working, it gives you so many different options. Strike Got him to chase that one. It was below the knees, two and two. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it, or he's got no chance to hit it. There's a hard comebacker right through the center. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Wow, they deal some serious damage. First inning really starting out with a bang. The A's lead 5 to nothing. Number 8 spot in the lineup. Here's the pitch. Strike Swings at that fastball and misses 0-1. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Here's the pitch. Strike Waves two. at that fastball in the hole now 0-2. Now here's one hit softly up the middle. Collins in time for the out. Here's what the Athletics have in store. Final game with Detroit is Sunday. After that, it's about defending home field against the Red Sox and their star David Ortiz. That should be a great series. They really match up well. That'll kick off Tuesday evening. After that, they meet up with Ichiro, the road series facing the Mariners. That's a team they beat pretty soundly the last time around. And in the batter's box, it's K-Line. Base is empty with one away. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. And that's a base hit. Gets down in front of him. But well, one out and a man on first base. That big single right there gives him a couple outs to work with to see if they can push him across the board. And Crawford's in the box. One out, man on first. He delivers. Ball. First pitch inside with a fastball. Ball one. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. Right. On the outside corner, one and one. Just off the inside part of the plate. Two and one. Three 
Lays off the fastball low for ball three. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. He set the 3-1. There's a swing and a ball into straightaway center. This ball is tagged. And he drops back to the warning track to pull it in. And fans, be sure to tune in tomorrow night. We'll see Adrian Gonzalez and the San Diego Padres. They find themselves at Minute Maid Park playing the Astros. That one's set for an 8 o'clock start. Looking forward to that one, Gary. That's going to be some kind of ball game to tune into. In the box now, number five spot. Two outs and a man on first. Here's the pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Tough pitch to hit right here when you run this fastball up and away. You have to elevate your swing to get on top of it. He ends up taking the pitch. The pitch. Liner towards the hole. This is placed perfectly for a base hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate, and he took advantage of it. Two men on and two men out. Up the middle, Collins. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. The Tigers can't get the offense going. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. Anderson tries to do some damage now. He's going to start the second for the home team. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball, too low, 1-0. Black fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. The 1-0 pitch. One and and one. he looks at a changeup in there, 1-1. One one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit sharply towards the hole. And that's out number one as he takes it to the bag. With the season just underway, State Farm gives us a look at the standings for the Western Division. Rangers out in front. In the second spot, it's the A's. Mariners in third. And it's the Angels in fourth. One out. Base is empty. The pitch, lined, foul towards third. He deals. Got him swinging with a curve. One ball, two strikes. Well, a perfect location right there. When you're a hitter and you see a ball and it's in the strike zone for a long time like that one was, you start your swing early, and then it breaks out over the plate. And there's nothing you can do to hold up. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Well, he climbs the ladder on him, Gary, and he just didn't have enough bat speed to catch up to that pitch. Take a look at last year's rankings and see how the Oakland Athletics fare. Third in stolen bases, sixth in triples, and they were in the top ten in doubles, driving the ball out to the wall, playing a lot of wall ball last year, showing that speed coming out of the batter's box and taking the extra bases. Two outs, bases empty. Here's the first pitch. 
This is in the air, straight away left. And there's the third out. It's the kind of inning the defense likes, three up, three down. Next up, Tigers. Cobb up at the plate. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Line towards third and foul. Here's the pitch. Up the middle. And it's through. That's a base hit. Let's take a look to last season. Check out the American League rankings and where the Detroit Tigers fell. Third in triples, fourth in doubles, and this offense showed up in the top five in the league in batting average, really pointing to the depth and quality of their hitters. A very deep lineup with quality at bats. Runner on first base, nobody out. Now the first pitch. Ball. Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Oh, and he takes off for second. Safe. He gets in there. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Fastball oh. just about had him, and it's a 2 2 count. Ball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. Well, credit the pitcher right there. Good two strike pitch down and away. Not much he could have done with that, even if he had made contact. Time to take a look at who led the league in slugging percentage last season. State Farm brings it to you. Take a look at Cabrera. He's number two. Jose Bautista, third. Number one is Josh Hamilton. Well, a big power hitter last year, and he was one of the top slugging percentage guys in all of baseball. And he's just a guy that has this big, beautiful, powerful swing, but he also has the ability to hit extra base hits. He's not just a home run hitter. He's a slugger who can hit the ball to all fields. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. Checks him at second. Didn't look like he was going to go anywhere that time, so he's easily back. The pitch gets the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. Well, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it, or he's got no chance to hit it. You're fastball up. got him two down. That's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively, two consecutive punch-outs. RBI opportunity right here for Miguel Cabrera. He has a 360 career batting average against the A's. Two outs and a runner on second. And here's the first one. That swung on and a liner here. And Cabrera's got himself a hit. And he's in there. Opposite field hitting. It is a classic piece of baseball. Especially on that inside pitch. It keeps the defense off guard when you can muscle the inside pitch to right field.
Up again now, the number five spot. Now they still need a lot of offense. They're getting some. What they wanted was this a little earlier in this ball game. Well, that was a nice at bat we just saw there, Gary. You don't have to get them all back at once. He stayed within himself. Just get a little bit at a time, and it can get you right back in the game. It's the baseball adage called chipping away, and that's what they're doing right here. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch. Strike Takes one. a swing at that fastball. Can't connect to on one. Well, just like the other team wants to tack on runs and add to their lead, you want to chip away at it, as you say. And when you do that, it gets you close, and it changes the whole aggressiveness of your club. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. Throw over to second base, a force to retire the side. Well, they pick up a run on two hits and leave no one on. Tigers really battling here to get into this game. Playing under some nice weather today, at least cool weather. Still need to keep those pitching hands warmed up, though. And the first pitch. Fastball in there, 0-1. Oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Here it comes. Strike down two. the center of the strike zone, and he's in the hole, 0-2. Oh, I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that 0-2 oh, pitch. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. Pitch on the way. Curveball. Where did that miss? Two and two. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. The full count pitch. You're out. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. With two strikes, the hitter won at the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. Here's the start of the Central Division race, courtesy of State Farm. Don't be surprised to see it change as the season progresses. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Indians. The Tigers, third place. Twins are fourth. And it's the Royals in last place. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Well, the change up right there hit a good spot. You want to keep that down in the zone, so even if they swing at it, it stays in the ballpark. Putt shot towards the hole. And he's out at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. Well, that's a good heads-up play. But you, know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. It's going to be Johnson now. Reached on an error and later scored last time through the lineup. Base is empty and two down. Here's the pitch. First pitch is a big curveball in there. 0 and 1. Swing and a line at a right center. And it's through. Credit Johnson single. Well, you know the pitcher was hoping to get that three up, three down inning. A little bit of a breather inning, but that single will extend this one a bit here. Bando in the box now. Last time he walked and then came around to score. Johnson's on at first. Ball. 
And he holds off with the pitch low, 1 0. Oh. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. The 1 0 oh now. And that's off the plate, away, ball two. Here it comes. The 2-0 pitch, a fastball taken for a strike. Come set. Here's the 2 1 pitch. 2 1 pitch. Curveball taken for a call. Strike two. And that's just high for a ball. Runs the count. Three and two. Well, he tried that four seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Fastball swung out and missed. And the side's retired. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. Oakland 5, Detroit 1. And for those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. with the 0-1 pitch. Now swing and a shot toward second. Throw one to first in time on away. And Crawford's in the box. I go back to that injury, Gary, and those are always very difficult ones there. And not much you can do. Sometimes it's just the happenstance of the game that can lead to injury. Nobody on base, one away. And here's the first one. Strike one. Hudson gets him swinging. Steve, we were talking about the injury. So long as the play is a clean play, even though you don't want to see it happen, at least you understand how it happened. Well, that's right. I mean, listen, sometimes the game just plays itself out. And if you play hard, you do at times subject yourself to potential injury. Yo, a little low. Got it in the dirt, but he held on. The 1-1. One, one. Cuts on that fastball. Can't make contact. 1-2. and two. Oh, that is hit well off the bat of Crawford. Jackson. And he gets over and grabs it with the left. On the State Farm leaderboard, uh, look at those teams who had the highest average last year. Number one, the Rangers, the Royals second, the Twins third, the Tigers fourth, and it's the Red Sox number five. When you watch this team today, one of the top hitting teams in all of baseball last year, you can't get frustrated as a pitcher pitching against them because they are going to get base hits, but you're going to have to bear down, and if you're going to beat them, you better hope you're getting a lot of double play balls because there's always going to be guys on base. And he watches the low pitch from Hudson. 
On a two-seam fastball down on the way, trying to get the hitter to roll his hands over to get the ground ball. He just laid off, though. Here's the 1-0. And it's fouled away. One pitch, a sinker taken for a strike, one and two. Good, hard, boring sinking action on that one. Good stuff. The one two pitch. Lined up the middle, and Tejada picks it up. Throws on to first, side is retired. Not a lot of action in this half inning, nothing on. Oakland still ahead. Miguel Tejado leading it off. He doubled home a couple in his last at bat. Well, he's already driven in a couple runs in this one, Gary. You've got to believe they're going to pitch him a little bit more carefully this time around. First pitch to him. That's right down the chute called strike. Last year, three for 13 off the Tigers. Here's the pitch. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. One away. Cochran gets a turn here. Grounded out last time. Base is empty, one out. First pitch on the way. And that's in there for a strike. That's a good fastball right there. He blew that one right by him. He delivers. On the ground to short. Trammel. Throw to first. Gets him in there at two down. Henderson tries to do some damage now. One for two in the ballgame. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the first pitch. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. He deals, waves at the spot attempt. He misses for a strike. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. No runs, no hits, nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. We're through four here at Oakland Coliseum. Now their rookie catcher at the plate. He's our first batter here in the fifth. Ball. And Hudson outside the zone for a ball. When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Headed for the middle. Collins. And that's in plenty of time for the out. Cobb batting now. Single and scored his last time around. One out. Base is empty. The pitch. Starts him out with a sinker for a strike. 
A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. Strike. Can't make contact on that bunt attempt. That's a strike. He sends this one in the air towards center. Now it's two away. And Trammell's batting. Struck out swinging his last time up. Two out, space is empty. Here's the first pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. And he throws it away, and everybody's safe. Oh, and a wild throw. At the plate, their rookie first baseman. 0 for 1 thus far. A runner on first with two outs. Now the first pitch. Line towards first. Makes its way through for a single. All the way to the wall. That'll bring Miguel Cabrera up. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. Singled home a run in his last at bat. Two men on, two men out. And he starts Cabrera out. Strike one. Strike one. Hudson gets him swinging. Uh, just out in front of that sinker, and he comes up empty. A shot up the middle. Gets another one down. That'll score a run. Well, that's one of those pitches right there, way off the plate, outside, that if you swing and miss at it, you look very foolish. How he got his bat on it, I have no idea. Great bat control, great base hit. Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch. Strike Swings one. and misses. The sinker. 0 and 1. Okay, this is how you mount the comeback. Each inning, you get runners on and you find a way to score. They've been pecking away at this lead. Now just down three. On the way. He lets that fastball go by for a call. Strike 0 and 2. Well, now within three runs in this ballgame, Gary, you really have to credit this offense. They've been relentless. Continuing to put the pressure on inning after inning. Tried to get him to chase that curve. It's one and two. Okay, they've cut this deficit to three runs, and they continue to put the pressure on. They've got to have some confidence right now. They're back into this ball game and got to be feeling good offensively. One-two pitch coming. Taps oh. this one foul to the right. Fastball low for a ball, two and two. But now within three runs in this ball game, Gary, and you really have to credit this offense. They've been relentless, continuing to put the pressure on inning after inning. You're and the sinker swung on and missed, side retired. So Tim Hudson is out of that inning. And the Athletics coming up next. now will come to the plate. One for two in the ballgame. Here's the delivery. 
Hit hard on the ground to short. Over to first for out number one. Fox is batting. And the fans kind of move to the front of their seats when he comes to the plate. Base is empty with one away. And the first pitch. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Here's the pitch. And this is hit in the air. Foul down the left field line. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. And that runs too far inside, one and two. Well, you rarely see a pitcher try to throw a changeup inside. You know that was a mistake right there. He's going to have to straighten that pitch up or he's going to get hurt. The one two on its way. No swing. Down goes to two and two. You're Started to go around. It's a call. Strike three. Two down. Well, you can hang laundry on that one. 94 miles per hour. Pretty good velocity, but that's pretty straight. He's got some real giddy up on the fastball today. It's got that good late action in the zone. That's his fifth strikeout on the fastball. Base is empty with two outs. The pitch. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. Here's the 1 0. 1 0 pitch. A changeup stays outside. 2 and 0. Hit in the air to center field. That's caught. Side is retired. And they're held in check here in this half inning. Oakland 5, Tigers 2. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crutt. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. Well, the hitter didn't like that one, but that's a strike. He hit the inside corner up in the zone. Got to swing the bat. Now Hudson with the 0 1 pitch. Called strike on a fastball, and it's 0 and 2. That's a great pitch right there. Four seam fastball. The problem is you lay it right down the middle, you're running the risk he could hit it out of the park. Trying to get him to chase a slider, but it's one and two. The one-two pitch. Ball two. That's in the dirt. He traps it. Here's the delivery. Swing sends this one on a line to right center. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. Yeah, 
And Crawford's in the box. Flew out last time. No one out and a runner on first. The 0-0 delivery of fastball taken for a strike. The pitcher showing that he can effectively throw strikes on the inside part of the plate. The hitter now has to make an adjustment, possibly opening up for that pitch next time. Now Hudson with the 0-1 pitch. Outside as Crawford takes it for a ball. It's a good spot to miss with that thing just off the corner. Slider misses, and it's two and one. Ooh, he paints the corner with that one. Two and two now. It's all about changing speeds, hitting your spots as a pitcher. That curveball down and away, you know, nobody's going to touch that. Now the 2-2. Two -two. Fastball in there. Called third strike. One out. Well, here uh, late in the ball game, obviously that is a very big out. That's a huge out. And I tell you, the pitcher came through in the clutch. He needed a strikeout, and he got it. In the box, their rookie second baseman. One for two in the ball game. Runner at first with one down. Here's the first pick. Sinker misses badly, 1-0. and The 1-0 now. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Two away. And they just tried to hold him there at first. Catcher up to the plate. He bounced out his last time. Runner on first, two away. First pitch, here it comes. First pitch, a slider outside, 1-0. and When you throw a breaking ball like this, you want to start it on the corner and break it off the zone, trying to get the hitter to chase. The hitter didn't take the bait here. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Swings, hits this one in the air, down the right field line. And the side's retired. Jackson on the catch, he heads off. Tim Hudson with some nice pitching. And the Athletics coming up next. Simmons at the plate now. He's going to lead off bottom half of the sixth inning. The first pitch. Back up the middle. Number two. In time for the out. going to be Johnson now. He singled in his last at bat. One out, nobody on. And here's the first one. First pitch of fastball, that's in there first strike. I don't think he likes that call, but when you're diving out over the plate, sometimes that fastball up and in doesn't look like a strike even when it is. The pitch waves and misses at the curve, just like that, 0-2. Oh, wow. Wanted to get him fishing, but he misses 1-2. and two. We have to remember these middle relievers, they're not used to coming in and throwing over 45 pitches, but that's where he's at right now. You might see his control run away from him a little bit right here. Swung on, liner to right. And the catch by Crawford.
Bando is the batter. Struck out swinging his last time up. Base is empty and two down. And the first pitch. Lays off that one outside edge and it's a strike. Here's the pitch. 0-1. Fastball and a called strike. Can't get him to chase the fastball. Low, one and two. Boy, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Swing and a softly hit grounded to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no one left on. Oakland five. Tigers, too. Cobb at the plate. He'll start things off here in the summit. First pitch to him. First pitch, fastball, 0-1. Oh, well, with nine outs to go right now and, and leading by three, I mean, I think you have to start throwing strikes. Just go at the hitters, force them to put in play. Do not give them free passes. Sinker called strike. Now 0 and 2. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. There's a swing and a liner towards first. Yeah. And he'll step on first for out number one. Here's a look at the teams that uh, drummed up the extra base hits last year, our State Farm leaderboard. Blue Jays number one, the Red Sox second, third the Yankees, fourth the Twins, and at number five on the list the Rays. One out, nobody on. Now the first pitch. Oh. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Offensively, now they've got to start to work the count. They've got to try to get base runners on and get things going here. I mean, you've got one out here in the seventh inning. It's not too late to try to make up some of this deficit. 1-0 pitch, a sinker in there, 1-1. One one. Well, to be successful, you've got to keep the ball in the ballpark, and to be successful, have hitters hit it on the ground. That's what his sinker ball does. One one pitch slider taken for a strike one and two. And that sinker ball will keep a pitcher out of trouble. Keep it out of the air. You got a chance to get out. Well, it's all about movement. He's got great movement on that pitch. Hudson with a count one and two. Ball two. Fastball low for a ball two and two. A two seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One because it gets ground ball outs, but two it sets up his other pitches. Here's the two two pitch. Liner between first and second. That one's put away. Now two down. Well, he hit this one on the screws, but luckily the first baseman had him positioned properly and had the big old glove over there to get him out. Base is empty with two out. And here's the pitch. This one swung on and driven hard. And that one's put away to retire the side. And so Tim Hudson, he takes him one, two, three. Stretch time, we're in open. Miguel Tejado leading it off. A look at the lifetime numbers. He's 260 against the Tigers. First pitch to Tejada. 
swing and a rocket toward short. One away. But Gary, he just continues to mow this lineup down. We're talking about 11 hitters in a row retired. Cochran in the box. Ground out victim last time through. Base is empty, one out. And the first pitch. Fastball taken high, 1-0. Oh. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. Down and away for ball two. He deals. Oh, that one's wide of the mark, and it's 3-0. and oh. right. Hoping for a free pass that time, but that fastball's in there. Strike one. Now let's see what he comes back with on the 3-1 pitch. This one swung on, hit down the line and right. And it's in there. He's got himself a base hit. Well, you're going to have to keep a close eye on this guy at first base. Pay a lot of attention to him because you know he more than likely has the green light. He can go at any time. One out. Run around at first. And here's the first one. Swung on, line to right field. Two away. And he'll have to hold at first. Collins now will come to the plate. Grounded out last time. Well, Gary, you can look at it a couple ways. You can say, look, we've got the lead. Let's play for another big hit here. Or you can turn it on, put the pedal of a metal, and keep the offense going. I want to see him run. I think this is the time to get him going. Here's the pitch. Pitch out. Nothing was on, though. Fastball just misses. He runs it to 3-0. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Strike fastball, one. that's over for a strike, 3-1. and one. Well, that's a pitch up in the zone that you can get away with on a 3-0 count, but you throw it 3-1, you could get hurt. That ball misses, four. ball four. Now we're going to see if we'll get some motion on the base pass. He went with a fastball and three ball count, which is what you want to do most often. He just couldn't throw a strike. State Farm leaderboard recaps the biggest group of thieves last year in the league. Number one, the Rays. The White Sox second. In the third spot, the A's. Mariners fourth. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. But there's nothing like the stolen base. To me, as a guy who couldn't steal a lot of bases, it is still fun for me to watch because I love watching these guys, the way they tinker with the pitcher, the way they make the pitcher work, and that cat-and-mouse game between them, the pitcher, and the catcher, about pitch outs and everything else, makes it so exciting to watch. And this team, one of the best in the league last year at stealing bases. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they pick up no runs, one hit, and strand a couple. Next up, Tigers. And here's Miguel Cabrera to lead it off. He hit 10 for 25 last season off the A's. And he starts Cabrera out. A smash towards the hole. 
And he makes the catch. One away. In the box now, their rookie DH. No hits yet, but he'll get another chance right here. Base is empty with one away. He delivers. Ball! Plays off that one outside, 1-0. Well, trailing right now, down three runs. You got one out here in the eighth. You got five outs left is the way you have to look at it. They need base runners. Get people on and hope somebody runs into one. A three-run deficit, not too much to overcome. And he looks at a sinker in there, one and one. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black, away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. Sinker just off the black, and it's two and one. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there, but the hitter wouldn't chase it. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Strike Swung out and missed that time, and it's 2 2. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. Gave him a fastball that time, but it's outside. Three and two. Well, hitters know those two seam fastballs down on the way turn into ground ball out. So they lay off of it, but with two strikes, it's a pitch you have to swing at. Foul! It's fouled off. And here's the three two. Swing and a miss. Slider, two down. Now, oh, Gary, that's an outstanding slider. That great late action with two strikes. Not much you can do with that one. Tough one to hit. And in the batter's box, it's K-Line. Two for three thus far. Two outs and nobody on. First pitch on the way. Ball one. Hudson misses for a ball. Now listen, this is still doable from the offensive perspective, Gary. They're only down three. It would be nice to have a little two-out rally right here, pick up some runs, narrow this three-run deficit, but understand, you can still come back and finish in the ninth. Just don't wait till the ninth. Sinker waved at and missed, one and one. Here's the pitch. Sinker that time misses, two and one. Well, it's a good spot to miss with that thing just off the corner. Now the 2-1 pitch. Starts the sinker low, winds up in the dirt. Now the 3-1 pitch. Three Refuses to go after it. Missed. Ball four. Ball four. Well, pitcher nibbling a little bit right here. Hitter not being overly aggressive. Laying off those borderline pitches. And Crawford's in the box. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. Two outs and a man on first. Here's the first pitch. Ball. And Hudson outside the zone for a ball. Ready with a 1-0. Crawford ground ball. 
And that gets through. The tying run will come to bat. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball into left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. Good hitters just thrive in situations like this. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Two men on and two men out. Hudson with a windup. Good rip on that one, but he missed it on one. Here's the delivery. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. The 1-1. One, one. Good downward action on that sinker. One and two. One, two pitch coming. And this is popped up on the left side. And a look at that one, but can't come up with it. Popped up, should be playable behind the plate. And that's out number three. They pick up no runs on a hit, and they leave two on. And here come the A's, home half of their eighth inning. It's going to be Jackson now. He'll start things off, bottom half, eighth inning. Here's the first one. Lays off a called strike. 0-1. Oh, well, that's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone, down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. Strike and that's a strike. Well, maybe someone ought to have him step out for just a minute. He went after one in the dirt. Strike three called on the fastball. What a way. You got a second now to see the four seam fastball in K-Camp. Nice looking strikeout pitch high up in the zone, just frozen. It might have been up in the zone, Gary, but when you have two strikes on, you better take your chances and swing the bat. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Strike Takes one. that one low and outside on one. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pitch. Here's the pitch. Ball fastball misses low that time, one and one. Flat fastball right there, just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Pitch on the way. Strike Good two. spot for the changeup that time. One and two. Oh. Change up tough to lay off, but it's two and two. Brings that curveball just about had him, but it's full. We went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. Three-two on the way. Ball four. And a pitcher's not going to get the call on that one. That's going to be in the base on balls category. I just let this battle get away from him as the batter wasn't going to waste any swing and anything outside the zone. It's going to be Johnson now. 
We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. One out man on first. First pitch. That's low and outside. One and oh. A 1 0 pitch. Johnson will foul that away. Foul. Right and two. he looks at a fastball in there, and it's 1 and 2 now. The 1 2 on its way. Ground ball to short. And he gathers this one. There's one. And a double play. They got them both. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. Oakland five. Tigers two. And the number seven batter in the box. He's going to start the ninth inning. Eckersley called on to do the hurling now. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. Swing and a miss, but he was right on it, 0-1. Well, I think right now they're looking to get a couple guys on and see if they can't get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark right here. So base runner's the key. Do not run into outs. Be conservative on the bases. You're down three. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Jackson. Rome's over, puts it away. Well, offensively right now, you're running out of time, down your final two outs, and... It's all about getting people on base and then let somebody run into an extra base hit. One run at a time, one base runner at a time, but start to believe you can do it. One out, base is empty. First pitch, here it comes. Ball. Low for ball one. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and believe me, very difficult to hit. The 1 0 now. One he lets the 1 0 pitch go by. 1 0 1. Better to go after the fastball when a guy has quality secondary pitches. Even though it's down in the zone, you've got to swing at that. Now the 1 1 pitch. He makes contact, line drive. A well, final out of the game, it certainly does not look very good right here. They need big hits. They need people to drive the ball, get something done right here, or they're going home to lose it. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the pitch. Strike one. Just missed that one for strike one. The pitch towards the middle. That should be a base hit. Well, late in the game and you're behind by a few runs, you're going to need base runners and a two-out base hit right here. This team needs to string a few more together if they want to try to tie this one up. And here's how the league home run total stood up last year, courtesy of State Farm. Take a look at Cabrera. He's third. Well, you talk about a powerful swing. This guy was built to hit balls out of the ballpark, and that's exactly what he did last year. He is a tough out, and when they make a mistake, he's going to make them pay. He can hit it a long way. The first pitch. That's a foul ball. Foul! Oh, one is a slur for a called strike. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. The pitch. Swung on and missed, and this game's history. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. And we get a moment here to recognize our player of the game. 
Well, you know what they say, that everyone loves to see the long ball when you come to a game, and he certainly gave the fans what they wanted to see. He's got to be feeling pretty good about himself. Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game. A lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. This is Gary Thorne with John Crook and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time. As good as we did, then you're all set. See you next time.